Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. It is time for some Gwent. Uh, I think this will be the episode. It'll just be a Gwent episode. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long this tournament is going to be. Hopefully it's actually just a tournament that I can win. Uh, let's go ahead. I'll show you guys my Gwent deck right now. Um, it's I like it. I personally really like the deck. Uh, obviously it's not 100% complete. I need to throw Triss into this deck. So someone needs to come out. We'll take someone out, but... It's not like the greatest deck in the world, but I enjoy playing it. It's how I like to play Gwent, so it's essentially it. But in the combat, uh, in the close combat unit section, here's who we have. Vesemir will probably get taken out, I think. Uh, but the main thing to do damage is the Blue Stripe Commandos. I have five of them in my deck, uh, which if you can get all five of them out there with Dandelion, it's ridiculously OP. I do have the Krinfred uh, Reavers, two of them, so it gives me 20 if I can get them both out there. Um, I've got the two Catapults, I've got the Medic, the Dun Banner Medic, as well as Thaler. Uh, the big thing with this deck is in the close combat is all the different uh, spies I have. The Mysterious Elf, I've got Prince Stennis, uh, Dijkstra, so there's, there's um, three, and then here's the fourth one with Thaler. Um, the hero cards, I've got all the hero cards I can possibly fit in this deck. Or all the ones that I have that go with the Northern Realms deck. I don't use too many special cards, it's just decoys, commander's horns, and scorches. I don't use any weather cards. And, let's see here. I need to remove one unit card. I think it's going to be Vesemir. Yeah, let's get rid of Vesemir. Um, and then the leader I use is the one that clears the, any weather effects that come out, so I don't have to have a, uh... So I had to worry about my uh, Blue Stripe Commandos getting frozen by that for... Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, let's head out and do this. I'm actually pretty pumped. We need to head... So let's hit up... We'll hit this up on the way down, and then we'll go ahead and do our quest. There's no question marks. So I don't have to worry about that. Let's get Roach. Alright. Let's go ahead and ride on down. How the hell do I... Let me just get on the outside of this. There's walls literally everywhere. What is that? Okay, here we go. Out on the open fields. I'm assuming there's stuff here. Like, there's a church over here. Is this a church? No, this is like a... It's like a plantation. It's not a church, because there's people here. I actually want to, you want to find abandoned areas because those are the ones where you find all the good loot and stuff. If people are there, there's usually not any good loot. So there's the main hub area or like the central, like you know how. Um, That's it, Roach. The the wherever Amir is, that area. Uh, that's like the equivalent of this, uh, the big <laughs> castle, that's where the Duchess is and all of that stuff. We aren't going there yet, because we can't, because I need that guy to take me. Why can't I run? Oh, I can't run in this area. Right, we need to get the notice board, so we'll do that first, and then we'll go to the Gwent tournament, which I'm really excited to do. I love Gwent. I spent 30 bucks yesterday, er... I said I spent 30 bucks when I bought the game when I bought when the DLC came out. I went to GameStop and spent 30 bucks so I could get the the Gwent deck that came out. I'm leaving this one sealed. I opened the other one. This one's staying sealed. I opened the the first the Heart of Stone DLCs um, because I wanted to look at the cards. And I wanted to kind of mess around with them. Oh. Not so fast, Roach. What do we got here? Or is just Roach not allowed to go to this area? Sir, sir. A letter for you, sir. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. like 22,000 gold. I can give five to that kid. My dear friend. I've been told you're on a jaunt to Tucson. I do hope you don't overtax yourself during the wine festival. 
the effects of such exertion at your age can indeed prove most detrimental. I've come upon some information which might be of interest to you. While browsing through a colleague's book collection, I found mention of one Professor Moreau of Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. The details I've come to learn are rather vague, and his laboratory's location remains a mystery. Yet his journal should at least provide hints as to both. It is said he was laid to rest with it in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the tome I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. Should you grow tired of sampling Beauclair's ladies, wines, and other exquisite delicacies, this matter might prove a fruitful diversion. Investigate at your leisure. Your friend, Yennefer. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations. Might actually be worth looking into. Okay, so there's a quest. Yen helping us out. I wonder if you get a different kind of dialogue there if you've beaten the game and um i don't think yeah okay i don't there's nothing new there to read um i wonder if there was new or if there's different dialogue depending on like what stage you're at the game with yennefer like if you're ending up with tris do you get a certain letter like do you get a special letter that where she talks to him because it says your friend yennefer i wonder if you end up with tris is that what you get. I haven't ended up with anybody because obviously I haven't beat the game yet, so um, I wonder if that's what I get with her. I wonder if you get a new... I wonder if it says, like, your love, What's Yennefer, or something like that, if you end up with her in the end. That's an interesting thing that I kind of wish I knew the answer to. Uh, but we got the notice board up here, so let's go ahead and read it. More reading to you guys. Alright, contract. Grandmaster Armor. Master Armor and Beauclair's uh, seeks brave man to help recover long lost diagrams. Contract is highly dangerous, as such will be lucratively rewarded. Okay. Uh, Fistic. Oh, here we go. We got fighting. Uh, hey, tough guy. Uh, smack down your brother in law, and now you're feeling invincible. Neighbors, step aside. When they see you coming, got violence in your heart, then perhaps it's high time you fought for the title of Brawl Master Beauclair. Um, defeat three champions and you'll get the honor of facing the maestro himself. Seek more information from Bookies and San Sebastian and by the docks. Armed escort wanted. We wish to hire a person or persons with good weapon skills who for a reasonable fee will escort us into Alberta's cavern for exploratory purposes. The knights errant claim the cave harbors no danger, so we don't expect trouble, but better safe than sorry. August, Lucian, and Hugo Menard. Oh shit. Lock seven. Well, fuck. I accidentally hit A twice. Let me see if I can figure out which one it was. Um... Is it this one? Well, that's a map. Ah, oh, shit. Is it this one? That's a letter from Yen. I done goofed up. There's the map that Yen sent us. Um, I'm gonna let it pop up. Might be worth looking into. That's the Grandmaster Cod contract. Quite the fragrant whiff. They should all what pop is the up. up. Father knows worst. This of Fury. Okay, I think it's this one. There can only be one. Actually, I don't know which one it is. Grandmaster Lawford. Oh, shit. I'm pissed. Why did I have to double click on accident? Um. Okay, that's not actually. Okay, um. Looks characters crafting. Okay, where did the new items go? It's not there. Is it quest items? Um. Ah, here we go. I found them. Okay. 
This is gonna be annoying trying to figure out which one. Okay, that's wanted white wolf. Okay, that's not it. That's not it either. That's not it. Okay, none of those are it. Well, we might just have to forget whatever quest I didn't read. Like, that's my bad. I think it's this one. Announcement from the Office of Intern... Belgar, you've already read... Okay, like, note five. Test yourself with the Trials of Virtue. This might be it. Dear reader, years pass and times change, yet all that is good and beautiful still requires a defender. Come to the Isle of Lot Kalavi and test the right the rightness of your character during the trials. If you pass, you shall receive a reward. That sounds like what I didn't read. Yeah, that's the live auction. Yeah, I think that right there was what I hadn't read, so that's actually good. Okay, we figured that out. If that's not the right one, then I... Oh, hold on, does it give... Wait. Okay, I don't think... Okay, okay, here we go. Contract, quarreling at the cemetery. Since no one from our residence committee seems to think it is their responsibility, I'll write it myself. This cannot go on. That infernal racket coming from the cemetery is driving us mad, and no one is doing anything about it. I know we all hear it. Madame uh, Bouquet admitted it keeps her awake all night long and she lives further away from the cemetery than any of us. If there is any witcher who can put an end to all all the screaming, brawling, and insults, I'll pay him from my own pouch. Ask them to point out Charles Lanzano at the Clever Clogs. That'll be me. A wanted discreet specialist. <laughs> Sounds like it's like an escort service. Discreet. It's like the word they always use when they're like describing uh, escort service. Like it's a discreet service. Uh, what a discreet specialist. What a professional to investigate mystery concerning Reginald D'Abri's statue. Requirements. Indomitable work ethic. Uh, absolute discretion and refinement is supernatural situation. Desirable immaculate presentation, aesthetic sensitivity, and knowledge of modern sculpture. For details, please see Rolanda de Flox Fitzer. Curator of Art and Collectibles. Alright. So there's all of that. Let's get the Gwent class back up. I guess that I don't actually know how escorts work, but that's like how they always get portrayed in movies and TV shows as a discreet service. Alright, so let's go ahead. We've got a, a shop here. I guess we can head in here. we got a merchant. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Whoa! A witcher! A serious client at last! Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle? Ganesha petals? Ho oh, ho! We can play Gwent! Show me what you've got in stock. Alright, does he have anything special for sale for me? He's got no money, I know that. Oh, look at all these potions of clearance. You got your Potion of Restoration. Returns all ability points spent developing muta mutations to the pool so you can reallocate them. Mutagens spent developing mutations will not be returned. Okay. So, what is this? This is the dye solution. Um, lesser Glyph of Infusion. He's got all sorts of different runes, diagrams, formulas for mutagens, manuscripts for different potions and such. Okay, so this guy is actually really going to be helpful. I'm not going to use I don't need anything now. How's business? Uh, the coin is good, but just between us, I'm going batty with boredom. I know what my customers want before they open their mouths. Bolt men, birch sap. Ladies of all walks, Whatever fragrance Duchess Anarietta prefers at the time. If just once somebody would order some poison, eh? Alright, let's play a I'll take your mind off of it for Game of Gwent. Oh, yes, look, we can bet more. Thank you, instead of that crappy, like, for a round of Gwent? 
there's nothing more annoying when you can only play for like 10 coins. I'm like, really? Like, this isn't even fun. Like, I don't even have anything on the line. 50, really, you don't have anything on the line either, but it's better. Alright, decoys, I got one spy. I got one reaver, so I'll ditch him. This is actually not a really good hand. I'm gonna ditch the catapult. Alright. This is a pretty bad hand I'm actually kind of worried about. I might lose this guy. That's bad because he just played the Avalok that I can't even do anything again, so... He's got the up on cards. He's gonna decoy that back, which is good. Um... I gotta keep playing stuff. Let me play one of these. That's the best, is when they decoy it back to me. I've got three spies left in my deck. 17 cards. Odds are not in my favor, but... Aw, oh, I did. I pulled two. Nice. Beautiful. Aw, oh, then I pulled the other one. This is... This is just... Uh, this is just beautiful. Now, the Reaver is not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. There we go. Is that... Okay, I will win the hand. I think that's good. Alright, let's go ahead and end. Dandelion would be a nice draw. Okay, nope, I'll take another hero card. That works. Um, I think I can just go for the straight-out win in this round. I think I've got enough stuff. Like, I, I could wait and set it up better, but I don't think I need to worry about it. I'm alright. Hopefully they added a bunch of new Gwent cards. I know they are they added a new Arch type, that's what it said in the invitation to this Gwent tournament, but I'm not worried if these things get killed, that's why I'm just playing them. I'm trying to see, get a bait, and see if I can get him to draw out anything because I have the ability to revive three times, so I'm not worried at all. Alright, I'm gonna take this opportunity to scorch those in the back. Those out of here. I should win, no problem. Yeah, he's gonna scorch mine, that's no big deal, because I can just bring him back. So I'm just gonna hold off on reviving for now. See if he plays anything. What the hell is that special? What the hell? Hold up, what is that? That's new. Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards on the same row. What the heck does transforming them do? I don't know what that means. Um, this is safe to play. Bring one of those back. Actually, it was not safe to play. If he has, if she has, or if he has a Scorch, I would have screwed there. Is this the new Arch type? Oh, well, damn. Okay, now I know what that does. This is actually going to be kind of close. Gonna double strength. That doesn't matter to me at this moment. Okay, I'm going to play my heroes just to kind of draw it out, try to get rid of all of his cards. I'm safe with all my guys out there right now, but... I gotta, I gotta try to delay this as long as I can. That's not good. Well, that's really bad. That's actually really bad. But I think I should be fine. I don't think... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We got the win. I could have had a much powerful um, thing here if I could have. If I wouldn't have lost one of my Blue Stripe Commandos, but... We're good. I'll play these just for the heck of it. I think the highest... I've gotten over 300 before in a round. Like, just barely over 300. You gotta get, like, the perfect draw. So, 100 crowns. What card did he give me? A light long ship. And... Oh, a new quest. Gwent. Never fear Skellige's here. Collect all the missing cards in the Skellige deck. Attain a basic Skellige deck. Okay, so right down here is where you acquaint, you, know or you attain a basic Skellige deck. Is it this note? Or wait, is it up above? Your boots could use some I think it's up above. Let's go up here. Let's get the basic. This is just a Gwent episode. 
the tournament. Am I too late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and talk. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this, I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer in chief. Our turn is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skelligan, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit, the rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Kreite, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to devise the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellige is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Um... I don't want to f Hold on. Thanks for the offer, but not really in the mood to play. A shame. The mood has little to do with the real man's performance. The turn is yet to begin, so should you change your mind, you know where to find me. And okay. in a bid to coax you into reconsidering, I shall give you the cards for a core Skellige deck. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Thanks. So long. Okay, so... Could help. I think it would almost be better if I went and collected some of these cards. It says there's a card right over here. Hold on. Did you guess, sir? Our sweet shining sun. So the innkeeper Wipe your boots prob before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Mm, what are you serving up today? Okay, so she should be selling a Gwent card. I should have... I'll probably have to beat her. Uh, but we've got Black Infantry. Okay, we'll just buy all of these. Uh, we've got Black Infantry Archer. I guess I'll read. It's a unit strength of 10. Range combat. It's in the Nilfgaardian Empire. Uh, Ar Ar Arrakis is a monster. Close combat. Uh, four card strength. And it brings the other monsters to the field. That's a nice card. Uh, Elven Skirmisher. Range combat. Two. Mustard does the same. 
Uh, Vampire Flutter, uh, four uh, monsters, close combat, does the same with Muster. Uh, Ghoul does the same. It's got one unit card strength that's close combat. And then we've got Harpy, Agile. Can can be placed in either close combat or range. Nice. Alright, so now let's play Gwent against her. Might as well bet the 50. I know you're busy, but round of Gwent. Alright, so first of all... Let's see if I can even build a respectable deck here. Crack a crite. Shuffle all cards from each player's graveyard back into their deck. Oh, uh, units only lose half their strength in bad weather conditions. That's not bad. But the real thing is, can I even create a deck? Obviously, I want all my heroes. Hjalmar. Um. Dandelion could get in the deck. Alright, you can... I could probably get a deck out of this. I don't get my spy cards with this deck, but... Yeah, we've got plenty of unit cards to create a deck here. So I could actually start playing this already, but... I think it'd be better to collect all the cards, and then... We can... Where is my actual deck? Where's Northern Run? There we go. I, did I get anything new? I don't think I did from anybody. Actually, did I? Oh, I think I... I can't tell if I got a new card or not. If I can't tell, then it obviously wasn't that good. But I think it'd be better to collect all the cards, get a really good Skellige deck, and then go take on this tournament. Don't need two scorches. Um, it's just hero cards galore. Um, I will ditch this scorch as well. I don't like this hand. This might be a losing hand. I don't know if I can. I can probably win with this hand, but it's not gonna be. This isn't a cut and dry hand that I usually get. There we go. I might have to. No, well, actually. <laughs> One of my hero cards getting played would win this right now, so far, so... Let's do that, get some more card draws. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. Um... Alright, I'm gonna actually go for the win on this hand. I know I'm down a ton, but I think I got a plan. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is getting out of hand. There are way too many cards on the field. If I can win, I can win this. And then that's just straight GG, because she's going to run out of cards. Yeah, she has to pass. Okay, so there's 30, and then I'll play Geralt here, and there's the win at 45, and I'll get to draw another card. So I'll have 9 cards to her 4, so this should be easy win. Especially with the cards that I have left. And I get to draw again, beautiful. Alright, this is a good hand, I'll take it. Oh. Ooh. It's like a really good play. I'm, I'm still gonna win. I don't think there's anything that can beat me. Yeah, that'll do it. I win. Well, that's not bad play, but that's not really gonna do much. I just gotta beat 67, which I can easily do with my Blue Stripe Commanders. Or Commandos. And there it is. Not even a barely. Cause I can just play that. <laughs> Up to 158. I love this deck so much. It's, it's so much fun to play. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thus spake the prophet Lebiota. There we go. So we got Drog Bandu. Uh, so we got two out of the 19 cards. Yes, fellow knight. Okay, and I didn't know if they were like here to like reprimand me for going into that bar, but we will go ahead and forget the Gwent tournament for now. We'll come back and play it later. I think it'd be more fun if I can complete. We'll complete the Gwent 
uh, near fear Skellig is here, or never fear Skellig is here, he can't read. Um, where are, like, all these cards spread out? They're just, like, all over the map. It's actually really awesome. They're just all over the map. You just gotta go collect them. Actually, they're not really all over the map. They're kind of concentrated. There's a bunch in the main city here. There's a cut. There's two down here. Uh, there's one kind of out there. There's a cluster of four there. Cluster of two. And then there's one way out here. I actually could probably finish this up in, like, an episode. Let's actually... We could go get one of these right now. Let's go... Let's go play one more round of Gwent. One more round, and then maybe we'll yes, continue this in the next no episode. Good help. The one thing is I'm kind of, like, blowing my load playing all the Gwents here right at the beginning of this playthrough. But I just love... I love Gwent. I've been missing something new Gwent-wise. Like, I've already... Like, the people in the regular game aren't that hard. It's kind of disappointing. There's no one, like, really challenging in the game once you build your deck. Really, no one's been challenging so far here. The duchy as a whole suffers from a Alright, here we go. We got Camerlingo. I think this is guy that Greetings, summoned me for another hero. quest. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camerlingo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights want of the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. All right. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Here we go. We can buy some books. I'm not sure if I want to read to you guys, but we can buy some books. How much, are, how much is a book? Wow, these are expensive. All right. I want to buy all these. I kind of want to buy all these. Um... Because I don't think I'll remember to come back. That's the issue. Like, I don't think I'll remember to come back to this and buy all these books. And at this point, I have a ton of money, so... And, like, reading these books is actually good because you unlock different information on the map. So maybe I could have a reading episode next time. I don't think anybody wants to listen to me read to you, but we could do it. Could do a reading episode. I know. I've watched some. I've watched a, a huge chunk of Witcher videos from people, and they do read the books. Some of them do, like real completionists and all that stuff. Will read them to the people watching the video. I don't know if that's something I should do. If you guys would be into that or or whatnot. I'm not the greatest reader out loud. Like like I'm a pretty fast speed reader, like in my head. But when we're reading shit out loud, you guys, I don't know if this is. This is, this is gonna make the biggest, the, the best video of me bumbling around, knowing what the hell I'm talking about. Um, is there anything I can sell over here? I just want to sell this crap to get the weight down, because it all weighs. It's not like I have too much weight or anything, but it all does weigh. I'm gonna sell these. I usually keep all my um, pelts and stuff, but we'll go ahead and sell it this time. Mostly because he'll buy it. They're really not worth that much. But they do weigh a decent chunk. Like, they weigh... If you build up enough, they do weigh a ton. Alright, I think that's it. Maybe we'll have a book reading session next episode. I don't know. I'll have to decide. Uh, but let's uh, do a game of Gwent. Bet our 50. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Alright. Let's do this. So his leader ability cancels my leader ability, is that what I got out of that? Okay, this is not a bad hand. I actually really do like this hand. Oh, oh my gosh, I this is this hand is just rip him. This hand is perfect. I actually might I'm just gonna keep this hand. This hand is just beautiful. Yeah, that was that was a bad draw. That's not who I want to draw out with this, but 
got plenty of cards to draw. There we go. Paired up my Crinford Reavers. I don't have a single... I'm actually surprised. I don't have a single uh, Blue Strike Commando. For having five in my deck and not having one yet, that surprises me. I still don't have one. It's actually pretty crazy. Um... Alright, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Get the win. It's actually, this hand went from being really good to being just a weird hand. That really makes it a weird hand. Um, let's just lead off with Triss. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna go about this. This hand... This hand was really good and then it like turned to really crap. I'm just gonna bait him to play cards. I can revive four, or, yeah, I can revive four times, so I'm just gonna sit here and bait. That's bad. Um, I just wanna keep baiting cards. Like, you can just keep playing cards. I'm just gonna sit here and bait, because you have to play. It's just all about what can I continue. I just wanna keep making her play cards. Do this, take my cards back now. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, this... thank you. Cause I have decoys left. Nice. Oh, I, I don't even know what I have left in my deck. Ah, uh, there's Geralt still in my deck. Um... What do we got now? What do, do I want to just call it? I think I'm gonna play him. There we go. Draw, like, if I could just draw out all, every single card, this would work out actually pretty well. Because he's, she's, er, he's gotta keep playing to win. Okay, let's go ahead and play this. One more card, I just gotta make him ditch one more card. Twenty-five thirty. I could actually just win it here, I think. I might be... my math might be fucked up, but I think... Yeah, I can win it here. Yeah, I, I win right here. All right, there we go, GG. <laughs> There's my hundred crowns and King Bran. He's probably a hero card, I would assume. Let's take a look. I'm happy they added a new archetype. That's really cool. It's something that they didn't need to add. They really didn't have to add it to the game, but it's really cool that they did. Okay, maybe Bran isn't. I don't even actually see Bran. What the hell? I don't actually see the card that I just won. King Bran. Oh, you know what? Is that. Is that the leader card? That might be the leader card. Let's check again. Hold on. Yeah, because it's not there. So, yeah, here it is. King Bran. You instantly lose half their strength in bad weather conditions. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, uh, but that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and we will be back in the next episode. I don't know if we're going to continue the what, Never Fear Skelligus here quest and just get all these cards or what we'll do, but um, I'll decide, and then we'll get back to it in the next episode. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.